G'day and welcome to episode 107 of the Guy Who Says Podcast. My name is Sean and this is my weekly update where I share my quilting adventures. I'd like to welcome both new and returning viewers, but if you are new, I'd love it if you say hi in the comments so we all know we have a new friend. Come see what I've been working on, what I've completed, and all the other fun and exciting news. We've got a lot to get through, so let's go ahead and get started with our works in progress. I got quite a bit done. Well, it's been two weeks because I didn't podcast last week, so I should have a bit. But let's see what I got done. So the first thing I've been working on, the work in progress, is the um, bonus block for Clue 3 of the Mad Quilt Party, which is an Alice in Wonderland themed Quilt Along by Artie's Quilt Co. You saw the Mad Hatter quite recently. Well, we'll show you again real quick because this is a fun block. So we did that a couple weeks ago. And then this is the bonus block, which is the cake. And I thought this one turned out really well. I did swap out the cherry for the Kona Sheen. I thought this looked really, really cool. Like a glazed cherry, I thought it turned out really nice. But other than that, it's all the Tula Pink fabrics. I thought it really turned out nicely. And then the other items I've been working on is the mini blocks for the Alice in Wonderland quilt along that I've been doing. And I'll finish one day. And the first one is the house. And this is the original one I did because it was originally all supposed to be in silvers. But I think the house in the movie was white. So I like this better. And I tried using the Kona Sheen for the roof. But it doesn't quite look right. I think it's a little too stark against this nice white or well, off-white thing. So I ended up doing it like this. And I like this one here a little better. So I ended up making the eight of these as four in this one direction. And then four facing the other direction. And these go around the edge as the border. Um, they also go along with the rainbows that I've, oh, let me show you for more than four seconds, um, that I have done previously along with the little emeralds. These ones turned out so cute. And then the other ones I worked on was the poppies. I've done a few of these over time and I finally finished all eight of those as well. So that's what I have for my works in progress. Um, we have a lot more to show you later on, so don't run off. But let's go ahead to our week in review. And if you haven't been here before, welcome. I, I'm so glad you're here. Um, but basically, this is just a series of clips I take during the week, mostly of me sewing, but also of any adventures that the boys, my wife, and the doggos get up to. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So last time I asked everybody if they bought quilt kits or they made, bought their own fabric for projects, and I loved listening to all the responses. A lot of you do like kits, some of you like doing your own patterns, and some buy kit like me, um, buy kits on occasion and some, you know sometimes swap some stuff out as well. It was so fun to read the responses. So this week I thought since we're all going through a bunch of weather, if you're in Australia it's super hot, and if you're in North America you're probably freezing to death, so let me know what state or country you're watching from. And then also, what's your current temperature is? I'd love to know in the comments. And so, what are my goals for this week? Now that I'm feeling better, I actually have some energy and actually able to get into the sewing room and get some stuff done. What am I up to? Well, I'd like to get a couple of quilt sandwiches made for the two t-shirt quilts that I'm currently working on. I've knocked it down from four to two, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, and then, if I can also get started on the Dormouse, which is the fourth chapter of the Alice in Wonderland themed quilt, that'd be great. It's all cut out. I just need to start... Um, assembling that as well. Let me know what your goals are for this week. And so next up is our questions and answers section. I have a couple of questions I'd like to answer this week. The first one is when does the tree of life, which is the new puzzle mystery quilt by Cut and Cut Ship. And the answer to that is just under two weeks. It ships on Friday, February 2nd. And if you haven't jumped in on that, there's still time. There's still plenty of cool colorways to join. I have an um, affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you any extra, but it does help me out a little bit. Um, if you're interested, I'd love for you to join along. I'll be doing the Purple Mist in the large. First time ever doing a large. I'm really excited. So yeah, if you um, let me know if you're joining in on that one there. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And then the second question is about the Alice in Wonderland. And a lot of people have been asking this. Is this foundation paper piecing or is it traditionally pieced? And the answer may surprise you, but it's actually all traditionally pieced. There is no FPP or foundation paper piecing in this. It's all a lot of stitch and flip. 
a lot of small pieces, um, but it's all traditionally pieced. And I love this stuff here. I'm not a huge fan of having to rip paper out afterward, so this suits me just fine. If you have any questions you'd like me to um, future feature on a future future episode, I'll get my words out of right in a minute. Um, send me an email or a message, and I'll um, love to answer that in a future episode. And so next up is our news and event. And since it's been two weeks, we have quite a bit of news to get through. The f only video I put out in the last two weeks was our 4S Club quilt reveal, which was where Stephanie, Stephen, Shannon, and I all revealed the quilts that we made during our collab. It was a lot of fun. You, um, if you missed that video, you need to go check it out because it was a lot of fun. And just seeing all the beautiful quilts that the four of us made was absolutely stunning. Yesterday, I had my live with Danny from So Not An Expert. We had a lot of fun. We did a lot of chatting and a little bit of sewing. Um, so if you haven't seen the replay of that, it's a lot of fun. You should go check that one out. This coming Saturday morning, I'll have a brand new guest. It is Denise from Lollipop Love. I think she has a fun channel, so I'll put her channel link in the description below as well, so you can go check out her content beforehand, and I'm really looking forward to hanging out with her. And then finally, let's see. Oh yes, we have, I'm actually, I took over the um, Cotton Cut social media pages this weekend as well, so if you haven't seen those, go check out the Instagram account and their Facebook group there so for all the quilty goodness. And we're also running a giveaway where you can win a wonderful mystery pack of fabric as well. So go go check that out so that way you don't miss out. And so now it is time for some happy mail. I got a package in the mail from one of my subscribers, Gina Grow, who's a wonderful, wonderful lady. And she heard I needed a second clapper, so she went out and got me one customized. I've misplaced a business card of the nice lady that does this on Etsy, but if you need that, I'll be happy to send you that information once I locate it. Um, but this is what it looks like, and she had it personalized. It says, Clap for the Wolfman, which was one of her favorite songs in junior high for her. She had sent some of these out to some of her other favorites, um, and it says I got the clap from Gina, and she thought that that might not be the best thing for me, so she got mine personalized a little bit different. I love this here as well. It's great having the two clappers, because sometimes I need to, um, you know, press down more stuff than one will hold. So I'm really, really happy for this, and I'm so appreciative of this, Gina. Thank you so much. I believe most people have been notified of this, but the guild meeting that we were supposed to have two weeks ago, three weeks ago, a week ago, uh, has been rescheduled once again because of my illness. Um, and we're just going to do it at the end of the month like we normally do on the 29th of January. So not this Sunday, um, but not the 29th, the 28th. We'll get it right in a minute. Um, so next weekend, next Sunday, we'll have our guild meeting. So I know there's been a lot of interest and a lot of new people that's interested in joining. We have not forgotten about you. Um, come back next week and we'll have our guild meeting that time, next week and we'll have a lot of fun there. And so now it is time for me to be able to show you a couple of completed objects. I actually have two, which is really neat. The first one is the Hunter Star, which you may have seen me working on yesterday during the live. The pieces I was actually working on yesterday, I've actually put to the side. I have um, designated them for a different project, still the Hunter Star, um, that I'll reveal a little later on just to make sure it works out nicely. But instead of doing eight blocks for this, I decided to do six, because I think this is going to work out really nicely for the lap quilt. It fits me um, with six, and I'm a pretty tall guy, so this should work out nicely. But let me see if I can just show you real quick. I was thinking about putting the border around the edge, but that's going to take a lot of extra work, and I don't think it's really needed. So I'm just going to leave it as is. We'll go ahead and make a quilt sandwich for this soon, um, once I find a good backing fabric for it, and get it quilted. And then the other one you may have seen if you did the sort of forest collab, but it's the Fab Farm. It's all quilted. It's all ready to be gifted. Um, and hopefully I'm holding it up the right way. Yes, I am. So here we go. You hold it back a little bit. Now I did a simple cross hatch. Because this is going to be a baby quilt. And it needs to be used that way. And I didn't want it to be over quilted. Because I figured this way they can still use it quite happily as well. So that is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, I know it's probably a little longer, but we had to cover two weeks worth of stuff. So if you did enjoy it, definitely hit the like button. Tell a friend. I always love hearing comments from my viewers. And I hope to see you all again soon in the next video. Happy sewing.